Hello and welcome to Rama VT. Today we'll be discussing creating an altar. Now an altar can be placed anywhere in your house, uh, but I suggest your main altar should be in a specific area in your house. It is now that point, your center point of the universe. It's very good for sitting with your altar. It's very good for uh, communing with your pieces in your altar and beyond your altar. It is like the telephone center between you and the cosmos, between you, your apu, your mountain spirit, and then to the stars and all above that as well. So pick your space. It could be on the floor. I prefer the floor. Uh, it could be on a table, could be on a shelf, could be in a box. Um, but yeah, pick a spot that's center and you can use all the time. So um, pick your location, have your items ready, your cloth, your cleansing items. So this is my uh, location for uh, my altar, for my uh, altar cloth. Uh, I'm going to use the floor altar. Uh, very similar to the South American Andes where they use the Incas and the uh, tribes and the Incas and beforehand. They use uh, a mesa, a cloth on the floor or ground, they call it a mesa. Another name for an altar. So, um, so just beneath our portal flag, this is our location. So first up, cleanse the location. So what do we use for cleansing? We could use rum. We could use Florida water, or we could use holy water, or empowered water, or moon water, or whatever feels charged for you to cleanse the area, to get rid of any friction or negativity or blocked energy, spray it, empower it, cleanse it, empower it. So, <clears throat> so first up, cleanse. So a bit of rum and a rattle. If you don't have a rattle, take some rice in a wee jar and shake it. If that's the, uh, the closest you can get to a rattle or a bell, whatever works for you. Um, invite the fairies with a bit of incense, a bit of sage, a few uh, fairy words like a wish ba, and uh, they'll help you to cleanse the space also. So they'll be working with you without you even knowing about it. So, um, so once you start the sacred act, the sacred space kicks in. So whatever is associated with that sacred space, they'll be there with you. So let's cleanse the area. <coughs> So once you're happy with your cleansing, we're now going to empower it. And so um, this is optional. Uh, I empower it with the uh, invoking of the pentagram and the evoking of the hexagram of the earth. So for invoking the hexagram and the pentagram, let's go through the stages. So for pentagram, start at the start, to invoke the spirit, down and back up again. So, Adonai Aharetz, and lock it in with a click. For empowering your sacred space with the hexagram of the earth, start with the uh, right hand side of the top triangle, draw it down, complete the triangle, 
down to the bottom, go left and complete the triangle. And stab it in the middle with your dagger fingers, your magical dagger fingers, and draw the number four. And say the word L or the god name. L L and lock it in. <laughs> Next up, it's your altar cloth. So gently place your new altar cloth on the floor, your cleanse floor, nice and clean, ready to be empowered. So if you're using a cloth and uh, you're placing the cloth on the ground, make sure it's facing north. Usually we face the north. And if you are facing the north and you have lines in your altar cloth, make sure the lines are vertical, you know, they're coming from top to bottom, not horizontal across the way. So nice even flow if they're going up and down. So just a wee point of there. Okay, next up, the pieces. Mm -hmm. For your centerpiece on your altar, I suggest a crystal quartz globe. It's transparent, it's pure, it's heavy, it's powerful, and it's the eye of the beholder, which is you. And your jacana will reflect that also. The center of the jacana is like an eye within the eye, a portal within a portal. So, a nice, clear, cleansing crystal globe in the center of your mesa or your altar cloth, your altar, uh, to start off with. So, this is your centerpiece, and so we will charge your centerpiece with saying the divine name of the center, which is Om, and we place the piece down on the uh, position on the altar. And once you've placed it on the altar, click it to lock it in, and then give it a little blessing with hyssop or pachaculi uh, oil. So we'll do that. Um. So a little bit of pachacuri. So a little bit of ice. Now your next piece. This is you, the ether, the spirit, the center of the universe, your crystal ball. And so next we'll be doing the earth, Pachamama, Gaia, Omerla, New Earth. And we're placing uh, Gaia here on our Jacana portal flag. We may have the energy of the earth reflected in the north here with green, uh, the south for red, summer, um, yellow for air, we have in the east and we have blue in the west representing water. These are quite seasonal, uh, northern hemisphere seasonal directions. On our altar path, our altar ground, this will be more personal. The Magi in the center of the universe 
sitting on the ground and so below us will be the earth. So we place a rock representing the earth. Um, so to empower your pieces, chant the name for that direction, for that piece. In this instance, it is Om Ma for Pachamama. So hold it to your heart and go Om Ma. Place it in the south and click your fingers. Lock it in. So we cleanse with the we anointing the oil. <sighs> Next, we will go to. The upper world, uh, north on the Jacana flag would be Earth, but on our altar path, our our magical universe or our magical place in the world, if you're looking up, you see the sky, and so it's going to be air. So, air for the north. So, what represents the air? A good feather to represent the air beings. Uh, the birds, even the spaceships. <clears throat> so feather for the north. <whistles> and what we see is Om Avir for the air. Om Avir. <sighs> and lock it in. <clears throat> So after that we have water to our left, the west, the emotions, the moon, and so uh, we usually use uh, seashells to represent the water. Um, when I give a despacho to the, the despacho is like an offering to the elements or the beings of the area. I gave a despacho to um, the water in uh, the Giants Causeway area. And immediately when I give the uh, offering to uh, the water spirits or the giant spirits of the area, they grab my head and point it in a certain direction. And in that direction was this shining little uh, shell. So this is my ultimate uh, water piece. So it's in the West for me. So I built up a few other shells in the meantime. So a good shell scallop to start with and then we can build from there. So you put that in the West, place it there. But first before that, we intone the name for the West with this Om Lavana. Place that in the west. <sighs> Little anointing. <clears throat> and finally, to make up our basic grading altar is the fire piece which goes in the east, the rising sun, and that could be represented by a rod, as in, you know, in the, the cards, the, the tarot cards, or the wand is the rod, uh, a candle, or, in my respect, it's a candle holder, but it's a few bits and bobs, so we'll stick them in, eh? <clears throat> Another one is the sword, the fire sword, it's a very good one. Place that in the east too. So...
My metallic purple plate can go to the east along with my wand and my fire sword can be kept in the east also so so before we do that we go um -ra. I wish about and a little anointing as well. So this is your basic altar. Um, we have the uh, centerpiece, as we call in Quechua the Misarumi, your Om piece. And then we have the Pachamama piece, the rock. And then we have the feather, a veer, the shell in the west for water, and we got fiery, ruddy, wandy elements in the east. So that's the basic setup of your altar path. In time, you build and uh, create certain things around it more feathers in the north, more swords probably in the north too, and along the side. Um, feathery things in the north, shells in the west, rocky things in the south, and fiery things in the east. And we have our globe in the middle. So remember when you go out in nature and a, a piece calls your name or you're attracted to it, um, make sure to give it back a little bit of tobacco in the area where you find your rock or your feather. It's called Aini, it's giving back sacred re reciprocity um, it empowers the peace that you take and it also gives back to where it came from in the space in the universe so it's good to fill in a space that has been taken from similarly on your mesa if you're away on a holiday or something and you want to take a few pieces good to replace the pieces with another piece just to hold that space until you come back so just remember that, remember that, so, yeah, so there's your basic altar path, and so when we are invoking the four powers of the earth, we will be beginning with our center, Om, and then we go to Om Ma, Om Aver, Om Lavana, and then over to Om Ra creating the four. So, shh, shh, shh. Big four in the center of your empowering mesa. So, there we go. So when you're activating your Masa, your altar, we start by saying and chanting the word Om, then we go Om Ra, then we go Om Ra Ma, then Om Ra Ma Lavana. Then Om Rama Lavana Abir Om something like that. <laughs> so here we go. Om. 
Om Ra Om Ra Ma Om Ra Ma La Va Na Om Ra Ma La Va Na <laughs> That's it from me folks. Thanks for watching and keep watching. See you soon.